Welcome to the Grain of Salt Podcast, talking Witch from Mercury. My name is Hank. He just started a major war. It's Ben. <laughs> hey, not my first time. Uh, was I right? Um, what did I predict for the for the meeting? Was I right? Oh, I don't I can't, remember exactly. I can't what you remember. Said. I thought I said something with her mom. I can't. I should have checked first. I could be sitting on brain rights you know. right now. Yeah, yeah. A, I don't know, but I feel like the general vibe of this is gonna go bad. <laughs> yeah, that was that was on. <laughs> that was easy. Um, but it was no like person. I think you were d- doing like the turn A person in the meeting thing. Uh, yeah, I can't remember exactly what was what I predicted. I definitely remember mentioning that, like wondering if that would happen. I forget what my final like lock in answer was, though. Maybe it was that her mom uh, kills somebody at the meeting or something. Mm. It was something with her mom. Well, no one at no one at the meeting died. The meeting that was is, fine. The meeting the meeting was going pretty well. It was chill. They did they did have the completely reasonable and justified position of we can't negotiate with you. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have control of fucking anyone. Yeah. Like, give it ten days and we'll see like, if you're worth you're talking like, to. You're, yeah, like it's like fine. You're you want to say the right thing, but but like, who are we negotiating with? Yeah, and uh, fucking nobody, because <laughs> well, all her claims were pretty empty, other than that. Well, she and... is heading a company that's making l- medical stuff, but well, and she she did the thing like when they were talking about like the. I forget if it was the group search. I forget what their exact wording was, but like in your search for these, the perpetrators or whatever, like you, there are 1500 people missing, like tortured, killed or whatever mm-hmm. else. Like all this, she's like, I didn't authorize that. They're like, yeah, you don't know shit. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. So that's understandable. Uh-huh. And turns out when you bring your military guys, even when you tell them not to bring weapons, they still bring the weapons. Yeah, I'm fucking shocked. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not surprised, but that doesn't mean I'm not a little annoyed. <laughs> I hate seeing it every time. Mjornay was. It, I don't know. It was just incredibly naive move by her. The whole thing. I mean, a lot of this, like. The, Although, I mean, yeah, 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 this made me. It would have gone fine, except for uh, Prospera. Yeah, no, this makes me think, like, anything, like, why, why is she not put a bullet in Prospera's fucking <laughs> face? She could have done a... The she thing, dude, yeah. she just has to do a Frieza, like, fucking pop her, and they'll be like, oh my god, Saleta, your mom, somebody killed her. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that yeah. easy. Uh, I don't think you're, you're a murderer, Bjorde, hesitate her to pop someone in the face. Just hire someone to do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, even that, I don't think she had in her. Just hire Although the. We'll uh... see. We'll see now that she's committed. She feels responsible for war crime. We'll see how she feels. About she stuff. could have hired uh, the snitch from the Earthian house. He he's cold enough. That dude had me laugh in this episode. Fucking putting a. <laughs> lollipop in his mouth or whatever <laughs> he's losing his mind painting this, painting this girl's toenails probably trying to hide a raging hard on he's he's <laughs> oh the fact that she fucking she can't fucking take it and she just like actually Jesus gives him Christ. good advice yeah she's like get the <laughs> stop being such a bitch oh my god just tell her what you told me get out of here <laughs> dude yeah. i think did they switch up artists for this episode? Like maybe some different people took lead because there was a lot of feet. I mean, they switch up like every episode. Someone, someone brought feet to the table. Someone did bring. We, feet we got to the table. that. that He's painted her nails. We got like Saleta feet pan over. Man, Saleta looking rough. Not. Uh, not taking the the disownership, I guess. Well, 
Go figure. Yeah. Her getting caught in the fridge is pretty she had... good, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was extremely good. And then, like, I don't know. I, I liked the whole thing, because it, it was the good arc of, like, yeah. she's in infinite despair, except, oh, no, she has a physical body that needs to eat food. Her stomach <laughs> fucking growling. Oh, she said she's not <laughs> hungry, like, three minutes later, like, <laughs> Ready to eat ham out of right directly out of the freezer. <laughs> Look, man, we've all been there. <laughs> Forced to eat breakfast with everyone else. I do think it's. I mean, and everyone else just thinks it's like about Minore. Yep. <laughs> just like I thought she was over it. Nope. She's taking this breakup not... so hard. <laughs> <laughs> It was a breakup in a sense, but it was not. She never made it to Bjorne. Um On the the war crimes front, yeah, I did really enjoy that. Like, basically, everyone's mad. Like, like Prosper isn't start. It doesn't like start this incident because that's her end goal. It's like just. Like a a distraction from what she's actually doing, yeah. Which is blowing up all the orcs' Earth Gundams. That's her goal. That's the thing she wanted to do. Yeah. So that so even Shadik is fucking pissed at the end of this. Like everyone gets owned. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, like, um, I like I like that there's there's so much going on that that's true. That like even that. Mjorne is taking the biggest L, but even Shadik, who's her opponent, theoretically, is also, like, taking an L <laughs> yeah. and pissed. I will say... There's just stuff happening. There's a lot of stuff happening. And mm -hmm. to the point where I was like, there's a lot of irons in the fire. Like, we were bumping... I forget what one it was, but we're bumping between so many people... For mm -hmm. sometimes not even that long. Like we got um not Ilan uh in his weird whatever the fuck she is. Looks like an evil nun. Like we get like snippets of them and like we're bumping back to other people. The the girls' night with what's her name, engineer. And like mm -hmm. we're, we're we're just bouncing. I wanna stay with people. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. so much going on. But, I enjoy I enjoy how much is going on. I mean I like all the I like all the threads we're working with. Don't get me <clears> wrong. <throat> the fucking girls night. <laughs> she did want to have girls night. They had like little cakes, it looked nice. Mm-hmm. Uh and then she got shot. No, dude, I think that was just jam from the cake. <laughs> it's fine. She's okay. <laughs> After the door shut, maybe that's true. Guy... The door does close before we see a finishing blow. So yeah, maybe all four of that guy's shots missed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I like that we're like Suleta is like, oh, I get it, and is back in determined. <laughs> yeah, mode. She's that like, was oh. that's the best. Oh, do they you, they. They kicked me out because they were going to do a war crime. I see. <laughs> Get it now? Yeah. <laughs> now, now Miorne is the one who's spiraling. Yeah. Man, the bleeding. For good reason. She fucked up. I mean, yeah. She was very naive. As you said. Yeah. Buff. The fucking... I thought the... I thought the... I guess distraction... When the gun bits took over the tank... Or made it not... Well, you know... Made it fire. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I thought that was going to be so much worse. Like, my <laughs> first thought was... Oh my god, she's just going to fucking raise these people. Like right here, 
kind of glad it uh, wasn't that. That would have been far less interesting, I think. Like the fact yeah. that she just no, I like that it tank. was like honestly, it was kind of in. It was just like part of. It was like the cover for her actual play. Yeah. I guess it'll be interesting to see sh- if that's like played out a little more because like technically well i guess enough people saw like the gun bits and shit right because like she had the dude fire on her and she was immediately like whoa they're firing on us i'm not armed i got a bail and then she goes and gets the biggest fucking gun in the world <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah i suppose with the gun bits there enough people would notice mm-hmm. maybe because the people in the meeting were like, you, you Spacians fucking lied to us. But I, my my initial thought was like, from a lot of people's perspective, like that tank fired first. You know? For people who may not know or whatever. For the Spacians. I mean, they're just going to take the side that they're already on, right? Wow. What? Like, it kind of doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know that it matters. Who started it, really? In, like, the tale of history, maybe they'll figure it out. But I don't know. Like, yeah. There's also the thing where they figured out where Guel, because of that kid fucking dude, blabbed. I am, I'm like, <laughs> I'm. He figured out that Shadik to... is behind. Are we supposed to know everything. who that dude is? What who's dude? The, who's the bigger dude? That, like, the bodyguard guy who. He was like, well, he was like the uh, leading the normal military defense on the, when like the, the Earthians attacked the space station. He was a good guy. And when Ghoul like killed his dad, that dude was there. Is he a Spacian or an Earthian? He's a Spacian. Okay. He was, he's like the head of the, the Spacian Gotcha. Guard, whatever. Gotcha. Yeah, he was like on the. I, he, I I recognize him. I just couldn't remember what part he played. Yeah, I think I think that's where just where he's just in the Spacian military. Gotcha. Yeah, no, them them finding out that that's uh, Shattuck is. They're like fucking check his but house. They, Look for the but president. They, <laughs> except they don't actually have evidence currently. Yeah, he's like, what, what proof do you have? Shit. None? We we picked up a nickname from we picked up a nickname from a a rapscallion on the streets, a street urchin. Those are always credible, dude. What more proof do they? I need? mean, I'm glad they know that, but like I also understand the the, the Chaddick would be able to weasel out of that. Yeah, that's These not both, exactly. This is like fucking... the right way for this to happen, rather than like I mean, not yeah. not believing it or something. We don't have anyone in disbelief of that this is true. Yeah, for now. That's what the courts are for. Oh yeah, I'm sure the courts are nice and just. They're for not believing. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, that's a weird stance for Hank to take. No, no, no. I'm saying <laughs> they're there to not believe you. Yeah. Man. But yeah, it's still like, mm-hmm. how are they going to wrap all this up in six episodes? I'm, I'm fucking whatever. wondering, dude. Or Here's my five, thing. I don't know. I mean, if anything right now, I'm wondering what the fuck happens to the Gundam. That's why I'm here now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, Saleta's so not piling it. Like, what's how is that going to resolve? Um, yeah, I forget. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe Ariel's going to be like the final boss. I don't know. What? I forget what happened to the Gundam and Turn A. I remember the fight. Then we get like that. The Turn A and the thing. Turn X get like locked in battle locked? and they like okay. cocoon. They cocoon. Right. And it's like one day maybe they'll awaken and actually destroy the world. Yeah, but like not for now. But for That's now, they're in problem. a cocoon. <laughs> but they're just problem. like there. Okay. They're like, 
that's what I, I I thought. I'm like, I remember that happening. I can't remember if something pops after that. Okay. Because like, that's all my basis is for yeah. Gundam. So, like, in, in, in one sense, mm-hmm. it sounds weird to be like, oh, and then the Gundam just, like, something happens to it, and that's it. No more Gundam at the end of the show. Because, like, the show is called Gundam. But, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like, turn A, you know. You get a sword fight. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you know. There's a sword fight at the end of original Gundam. Well, oh, at original <laughs> Gundam. I thought you yeah, meant like yeah. the sword shit in turn A. There, there's also sword shit in turn A. That one guy dies because he won't drop his sword. I mean, that sounds like a him problem. Mm-hmm. There hasn't been... How many how many episodes was turn A? Was it like fifty? I feel like it was a chunk. Yeah, I think it was turn A. I want to say it was fifty. Yeah, or like it 52. was fifty exactly. Fifty exactly. He's done it. <laughs> um, like they obviously had way more space to to do shit. But, Mm -hmm. I mean, like, so far, I definitely haven't had, like, like, when they find the nukes, I haven't, like, there's, there hasn't been a moment that's, like, hit that high for me. No, there hasn't been a, like, a super peak. Yeah. I, yeah. I think the thing that's, like, supposed to be it, I guess, is the... I don't. I don't even know. It's hard. I. D- I mean, and you know, it's not that it needs to have one necessarily. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nice. <laughs> I mean, the nukes moment in turn A is unfucking believably good. That's a very <laughs> tall peak to <laughs> be. That is out like apart. you know. I'm just saying, as good a turn in a show as like I've ever seen. So, yeah. No, like I'm not. I don't expect this show to pull And, that like, out. it's so big, the show can't even really, like, doesn't exactly, like, follow through on that as, like, the, a main thing. That's just a thing that happens within the course of the regular show and, like, the main plot takes over. Yeah. But still, that moment is, like, so impactful because of how it relates to, like, the real, like, our world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just like a connective thing that you're like, wow, that's <laughs> goddamn. Yeah, no, that shit was. It, that's, just, it just really hits. That's an all timer. In a way that, like, you know, Quiet Zero it yeah, doesn't. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, just yeah, some yeah, anime you're, bullshit. I, you're saying <laughs> Quiet Zero, and I'm saying, who cares? <laughs> you're saying Quiet Zero, and uh, my reaction is quiet. <laughs> I hope they pull some like. I feel like if there's gonna be like uh, any any peak moment is. It's when they kiss. I it's mean, when they kiss. When they <laughs> kiss. <laughs> That's the peak moment. Be Come fucking on. cheering, this entire watch through paying off. <laughs> the, the 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 end credits hit this time. That was good shit. The sure. bleed in where she's like talking a little bit as the music starts. Mm-hmm. That's what we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had the 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 episode lingered a little bit. Yeah, the start of it. That shit's Cause real. Because shit, because shit's real now. She was or feeling whatever. stuff. Yeah, yeah. You committed a war crime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, I just want them to be back together though. I need when they get to wear when they get to wear the dresses in the show. You, you think they're actually going to wear the dresses? I don't know that that's going to happen. <laughs> Who knows? The Who metaphor- knows the metaphorical dresses? Mm-hmm. I guess that's the other thing. Like turn A had with all those episodes, you have a little more time to linger on. Like people, like they could have been hanging out a little more. <laughs> Just a little. Mm. That's all I need. Uh, we never put a cow inside of Ariel. 
Yeah, that one's real sad. <laughs> but I mean, you know, that's why turn A is so fucking great. This is I mean modern anime where you don't you you just get less episodes if you're gonna yeah. have good animation. Yeah. I mean it's too trade, expensive. I'll trade some animation quality for like them hanging out and doing school shit. Maybe get some more duels in there if possible. I, I also know. just think the audience expectation on that stuff is people want plot shit happening. <laughs> Remember know. when like uh, Turn A wasn't extremely isn't extremely popular also. This is whereas this has been pretty popular, I think. Remember when Toriyama did the opposite of what fans kept asking him to do? That was pretty Yeah, because cool. he's the goat. <laughs> The same, man. Like, fuck the audience. Well, I mean, he did what his editors wanted him to do, though. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess, so, I guess, so. nineteen and twenty won't be the main antagonists. <laughs> <laughs> Figure something else out. Figure something else out again. After you're telling me 17 and 18 are too young, or just some kids. <laughs> I mean, have a bug man. I'm All right, still... I'll make the bug man handsome. God. I mean, I'm just hoping we get more. <laughs> I want I want them to, to come back and do a blend of, like, Utena and Gundam. Like, swing back into that. You know, you mentioned, like, someone... We've talked about like people being shirtless on a car, people turning into a car. What if Saleta turns into another Gundam? And Minori rides her into the sunset or something. Easy. I will say, the moments that have popped the most for me in this show mm-hmm. have been Suleta being amazing in the Gundam moments. So I'm excited for her to get back into a mech. <laughs> any... any any mech i'm excited for the the potential there i think that's really where the this show shines yeah in particular i would i would like to see it have have we seen her in a regular mech too much I, i i think she was in one for like the test some of the testing shit at the school right yeah Mm -hmm. i would love to see her get in like a different uh, maybe it's maybe it's too like special protagonist shit, but it'd be cool to see her get into another Gundam and be fine. And it turns out like she has a way with Gundams or something. Yeah, that would be neat. Uh, yeah, like, no. for like, Ariel, if we get some new type popping from Suleta, I'll I will be okay with it. <laughs> in this in this instance, I will yeah. actually be fine. Because like Ari was actively rejecting her. This is the only reason, like, consciously rejecting her. This is the only yeah. reason that happened. So, like, I don't know. What if the secret to not dying in a Gundam is to treat it like a person? <laughs> like, say fucking please and thank you or whatever. Something yeah, like I mean, original, original, in original Gundam, fucking the main character is like, Becomes so good a pilot that he's like, the Gundam isn't keeping up with him. So if we get some of that with Suleta, <laughs> oh hell yeah, um, I'm down. <laughs> that might be like the only thing you've said to make me to to pique my interest about original Gundam. Yeah, that I otherwise have no real desire to, <laughs> to go to. Yeah, it's just that Amor Ray kind of is boring and sucks. Yeah, but yeah, he does. He does. He is the special boy. I like a bit of that shit when it works well. They have to that. make the Gundam better to keep up with him. Yeah, like that's the, the reason that's I don't funny. like it for his character is because his character gets introduced as just he's the nerd who read the manual. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they turned him, they, they, like, they reverted it into, like, no, wait, he's Then actually, making like, him the, also the special boy was, like, that's, bo- that's boring. That's less interesting than what you had going with this character. 
Mm-hmm. And also, like, they put other people, they put the girl in the Gundam and she sucked at it. That was also lame. Yeah. Um. Yeah, not all characters uh, uh, are created equal. I want different things from different ones, it turns out. Shocking. And, and like bold. Zuleta, I want her to kiss. <laughs> Goku. It's great. He's never kissed. Yeah, Goku doesn't That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't you have three kids? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking canonical Goku fucks, does, but doesn't kiss. He's, he has two kids, okay? Right, two kids. I don't know in my... And a as, granddaughter. As I said it... In my head, I was I, like, for some reason, I decided to count Goku as a child, which, like, <laughs> not wrong, but wrong in that context. Uh huh. So what I what I mean is, Chi Chi has three children, really. <laughs> anyway. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, I guess that's a podcast. Salt Circle Podcast, gmail.com, Salt Circle Pod on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. I ain't on Twitter. And also, I nuked my Reddit account. Sick of the internet. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting closer. I'm looking forward Freedom. to more Gundam. Shit's, uh, I wonder shit's how that election's going to go. I'm sure it will be uh, fair and. Everybody will follow the rules, and nobody will die. I feel or like there's going to be anyone. some uh, some uh, leak to the press about Shattuck. Nope, it's um, my suspicion about where this is going. What if we sure just told that, the media? <laughs> I'm sure that uh, Prospera will uh, turn around and be fair and not deceitful. <laughs> Everybody uh, will be happy, <laughs> and it will be nice. Yeah. Once once Quiet Zero happens, there will be no more war or sadness. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Um, <laughs> the no more <laughs> war or sadness, that's never bad. Yeah, that always comes about in a great way where everyone wins. Uh-huh. Peace. Yeah.